My name's Stuart Bradley. I'm the Strategy Manager for Offshore Renewables here at the Energy Technologies Institute. Tidal energy has a, uh, is a very abundant resource. It can provide between 10 and 100 terawatt hours of electrical energy into the UK grid. It's mostly concentrated in geographical areas in the north of Scotland, uh, Pentland Firth and so on, and around headlands and islands. It's a predictable and reliable resource, and that means that we can predict it almost hundreds of years in advance, and we know when it's going to turn up, it will be there. So this is something that can be integrated into the national grid very easily. Tidal stream can meet the ETI UK ERC marine energy roadmap cost targets, and it can also be uh, an extremely reliable and efficient energy source for us here in the UK. The industry needs to deliver uh, focused innovations that will meet the marine energy roadmap targets of uh, 10 to 20 pence per kilowatt hour by 2020. It needs to be able to deliver between 200 and 500 megawatts of nominal rated capacity. I think that tidal energy could probably do even better than that. I think if they started looking at uh, higher levels of, uh, of innovation, and again, going back to some of the science base and some of the learnings from offshore wind, I think they could even go lower. Tidal energy industry needs further investment, of which the ETI is doing that. We're investing a further seven and a half million pounds into uh, the, our Tech 2 project. This is the phase two part of our marine uh, tidal stream project, which will invest in producing um, three megawatts of power from the Magen site in the north of Scotland. Over the last seven years, the ETI has uh, invested a significant amount of, uh, of money into uh, tidal stream energy projects, uh, modelling the resource, understanding the resource, and then bringing forward the tidal energy converter project into, into fruition. And that has shown us what the ideal uh, tidal stream energy converter uh, architecture is. So we've looked at things like the electrical uh, drive line, uh, subsea hubs, electrical distribution back to the grid. The lead partner for the tech project was Atlantis Resources Limited in conjunction with Lockheed Martin, uh, Black and & Veatch and uh, a, a, a number of universities including the University of Manchester and the University of Oxford. From the tech project, we've learned that the capacity of the UK to provide energy into the national grid is economical uh, and that it's reliable. But we've also found that system engineering and array optimization is absolutely essential for us to be able to realize those benefits. And those drive the uh, levelized cost of energy uh, to a low of 12.9 pence per kilowatt hour. If you look forward to, uh, to 2020 and being able to roll out some of these technologies out into the north of Scotland, into the west coast of, of, uh, of South Wales, I think we can really make a material difference to uh, low carbon energy production in the UK. And uh, seeing some of these technologies come into commercial realisation I think is really exciting. And bringing those forward and, uh, and, and making a material difference as well. And, uh, and, and that's, really, uh, that's really what we're aiming at, that's the exciting stuff.